Have you ever been frustrated when something that seems so simple just doesn't work? If you're struggling with Angular validation not firing as expected, you're definitely not alone. Today, we're gonna dive into why your required validation might not be working and how to fix it. I totally get it. You set everything up, and yet when you hit submit, the function fires even without an email. It can feel like you're missing something obvious. This is a common issue many developers face, especially when starting with Angular. Let's take a closer look at your specific situation. You mentioned that you created an Angular 4 application and set up a form with an email input that should be required. But when you submit the form without an email, the submit function still runs. Sound familiar? Let's figure this out together. So, what could be going wrong here? In Angular, the required validation relies on the form control being properly set up and the form being in a valid state before the submit function is triggered. Let's break down the code to see where things might be slipping through the cracks. And stick around. I have a crucial tip at the end that will help you avoid this issue in the future. You won't want to miss it. To address the issue with Angular validation, the user should first ensure that the forms module is properly imported in the application module. This is essential for template-driven forms to work correctly. Next, the user should check the form element in the HTML. It's important to ensure that the input field has the correct attributes for validation to function properly. Now, the user should implement a check in the submit form method to prevent form submission when the form is invalid. This can be done by checking the form's validity before proceeding. Finally, the user should test the application to ensure that the validation works as expected. They can do this by trying to submit the form without entering an email. Fun fact, did you know that Angular was developed by Google? It's a powerful framework that can sometimes feel like it has a mind of its own, but with a little patience, you can master it. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. One user points out that you missed adding the ng-model attribute to your input element. By including square brackets or using the banana in a box syntax, your form validation will work as expected. You can choose between HTML5 validations or Angular validations. For HTML5, consider using ng-native validate. Alternatively, you can stick with Angular validations for a more integrated approach. Here's that crucial tip I promised. Always validate your forms before submission. This not only prevents errors, but also enhances user experience by providing immediate feedback. And there you have it. With these steps, your Angular validation should be working perfectly. Remember, proper setup is key. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks on Angular and other tech topics.